Awesome, and I am Jay Diesel. How's it going, chaps? So welcome back to the channel for some more NBA Live Mobile gameplay. Now we've got episode two of Quest for Legend. Now, the first episode was uploaded yesterday quite late because I was not able to record it in time. So I got it up about 7:30 last night. So a lot of you weren't able to get it, but those of you who did, uh, really, really liked the intro. And I hope you liked the intro. This one's pretty much the same as yesterday's video. So definitely go check out that one. We had some really nice pulls in the very first one so we are back here today now one of you did state that you didn't know if we were actually able to pull legends in um these elite exchange packs but given the description of the elite exchange packs it does suggest that you can pull legends uh, at least the pullable ones in the packs but today's legends we've got a uh, big man lineup reggie lewis shooting guard 93 overall and a bob mcadoo center for the two-way lineup, 94 overall. Now, definitely not the positions I was hoping for, uh, but you know what? Hey, those are the legends. I'm pretty sure EA's got some big things planned for the positions that we do need. Probably waiting to release some really good cards, so that's what I'm hoping for. But let's dive in. We've got more of these Elite Exchange packs. Hopefully, we can clutch ourselves out a legend. So, yeah, I'll show you the set real quick. If we go over to the upgrade set, it does say here that, um, yeah, it says... Add two elite players to earn back a random elite player of 85 overall or better. So the all better part would be like the 90s, the 91s, 92s. So definitely it does seem like you can pull legends. So EA, I would like a little transparency here to know if I actually can pull a legend in these packs. Uh, this, this, this series might be um, a waste and it might never end if we're actually not able to pull a legend in it. But given the description of the set, it does suggest that we can pull a legend. So, very first one, what are we gonna get? It's an 85 Jaron Grant. Um, this, I've never actually used this card before, and given his stats, I don't think I ever would, really. But it would be nice to make an all-campus hero-themed team, but it would probably be of the top, guys. 87 Rudy Gay, that's not too bad there. This card actually is pretty good. I have actually used his card before. So yeah, this Rudy Gay, of course, not on my first list, but definitely a good card that I would suggest if you're in the market for it. Jamal Crawford there, getting some nice throwbacks out of here right now. He's definitely a beast and a half there. Then Jamal Crawford, his award winners is not too bad as well. As we get an 86 Russell Westbrook, apparently, of course, you know you're gonna get some of those cards right there, and it's gonna be another Westbrook. Really, back to back Russell Westbrooks. All right, next one is gonna be an 85 Ponte Ellis. We've got 82 three pointer. This card is absolutely amazing. I've done a review on him uh, before in the past. I was like, wow. Ago, wasn't it? That was a while ago that we actually did a review on that card. Really, really good. As we get a Kawhi Leonard for the shooting lineup there. There we go. 72 three pointer, but he makes so many three pointers. Every last one of his cards make a ton of three pointers, even though the stats really, really not that good uh, for three pointers. Kawhi's just a great player. He's just a great player. Let's see. So far, the pools haven't been too crazy like last episode so far. We have kind of cooled down from that one there as we get an 88 Richard Jefferson there. All the throwbacks are coming up right now. This card is really good. I ran with this card for a while until I then moved on to the team of the week, uh, Kevin Durant. Now, of course, we've got um, the 92 Kawhi Leonard there. So, yeah, Richard Jefferson, definitely <clears throat> uh, really good card there. Excuse me. Alfred Payton. Um, I have never used this card before. And, yeah, once again, judging by those stats, probably never will. Probably never will, so we're burning through these pretty quickly. Hopefully we can get something good here, because so far these packs have been really, really bad, but apparently, you know, hey, that's bound to go that way as we get another Richard Jefferson. <laughs> All righty there. Another Richard Jefferson, 288 overalls. I think he's only going for like maybe 100 and something, so not too, too bad as we get an 85 overall campus hero, Frank Kaminsky. I did a review on him as well. Really, really good shooter. Really good shooter for the power forward position. Uh, not too bad. Two more to go, and it's going to be Cousins now. Of course, we're going to have a lot of reroll sets here. Hopefully, we can pull something decent. Isaiah Kanan, uh, no, definitely not what we're looking for. Nowhere near as good as the last videos. Well, I guess we're bound to cool off. Some of these episodes are bound to cool off um, eventually. So we'll throw Ross in there and see what we can get out of this. Come on now. 
we need a good pull as we get James Harden, but he's kind of fell in price as well. He's no longer as expensive as he used to be. He used to go for about 110, 120, and now he's down to like, you know, the 60 and 70 range as we get a Chris Paul. No, these packs are doing us so wrong right now. All right, let's see. Drummond's, come on, Drummond. We just need one good pull. 190 overall pull on another Russell Westbrook. No, please don't tell me this is how the whole thing's gonna go. The first video was so good. We had so many good pulls. In the first one, as we get an Anthony Davis, whose price has fallen as well. He's not going for much either. Let's go, we'll throw Alfred Payton in there. He can't be going for much either. Come on now. We've got to get something good. 88 George Hill. He's not too bad. I've never used his card either, but 88 overall. I guess, I guess it's all right. I don't know how much the rest of these guys go for. Jamal Crawford, I think someone told me Jamal Crawford actually does go for like a little bit. I don't know how much Frank Kaminsky goes for. So I guess we'll do this one more time with Jaron Grant and Isaiah Kanan. I don't know if Kanan goes for anything, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and toss those guys in there. But I have some of the, I mean, I think all these guys really aren't that expensive as we get an 87 Rudy Gay. No, we burned through so many of these packs. It's amazing how quickly these coins go uh, when you're doing these packs and how quickly the packs go when you're not getting anything good. So 87 Rudy Gay, this is pretty much all we came away with. George Hill, two Richard Jeffersons, two Rudy Gays, uh, Kawhi Leonard and a Jamal Crawford along with Amante Ellis and a James Harden and a Frank Kaminsky. That is, that is quite depressing as we do have um, legend packs in store today as well. Uh, yeah, so I opened up my three, didn't get anything at all. Didn't even get collectibles worth anything. <laughs> of course, put all trash collectibles there. So yeah, that's all for this episode number two. Now, of course, this episode will go on every Saturday. So I'll be bringing this, guys, bringing this to you guys every Saturday to try and pull a legend. This video here was terrible because we really didn't get anything worth value. Probably made nowhere near, well, I don't think we made anywhere near the coins that we spent on these initial packs uh, before the re-rolls. So 15 of these packs really costing a lot and we really got nothing back in value at all. So that's that's gonna hurt, but we do have a week um, to make up for it and uh, make some coins back uh, so that next Saturday we'll be able to do this again. And also the next Bronze to Elite video will be out on Monday and you chaps do not, I repeat, you do not want to miss that episode because We've discovered something that is literally game changing. It is game changing for this series. And um, it's, you know, I, I won't say any more about it. Just make sure Monday you are there for Bronze to Elite. It is going to be madness when you find out uh, what we've done and where we're at. So it is gonna be crazy. But I hope you guys did enjoy this very short video. My videos are never this short. But this is kind of short. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. If you did, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, chaps, you are awesome. And I am Jay Diesel. See you around.